Hey, good morning, guys. Hammer here. Thanks for clicking on. It's Memorial Day weekend, so uh, I know we're all barbecuing and going to the beach and uh, enjoying these freedoms we have, but let's not forget the people who sacrifice to give us these freedoms. So remember what the weekend's about. Anyway, um, it's a beautiful day. Had a lot of rain here yesterday, but I've got a bit of a project going on. Um, you know, we've been talking about the RV thing, and uh, here's a picture. So we haven't picked it up yet. Uh, I'll be picking it up uh, at the end of next week, I guess. They're doing uh, PDI on it and detailing and all that. So the project I have is uh, a friend of mine, Carlos, the electrician, he's uh, going to have his son come over and um, I got to put a 50 amp plug out there for it so it's got power. It's a 50 amp, not a 30. So uh, see what I've got here. I've got the panel box off. So I'm going to run the wire down through. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to drill a hole in the gable, run the wire through, pop it down run it out and then I'm gonna let the uh, electrician make the connection so that's what I'm working on catch you in a bit I didn't show you guys before but I've got my fence up because this is where the RV is going to sit and I've got that line in so I gotta get the electrician out here get this thing hooked up all right so I am here I am at lazy days uh, we've come to get the delivery today I don't see it up here. I don't know if I maybe got to go to the other side because we're going to do a walkthrough. We're going to take a look at it. I mean, we've looked at it, but we're going to just kind of walk through how all the components work and what goes on. Uh, never done a delivery on an RV, so I'll bring you guys along. Let's go. All right, I'm here at Lazy Days and uh, getting ready to take delivery. I did a walkthrough. As you can see, they, they did the reseal on the roof. So I'm glad they got that done. Um, so we're going to go walk around this thing and uh, I'm going to show you guys the uh, camper. Hang on. Alright, so what's the deal with the water heater? Okay, so initially we got this, this, this uh, mixing tube was too far back and it was getting too much air mixture in with the gas. Okay. And when it does that, it, it, it should be a blue flame in here. It was, like, it was an orange flame and it was making uh, sooting, smoke was coming out. So all you have to do with that is loosen this little screw. And, and actually move it this way and that's all the bigger opening you want you don't want to get too much bigger than that okay very good all right i got this thing behind me um i've been towing it about 35 miles now uh left lazy days a little while ago i can definitely feel it back there truck's handling it pretty good um you can see the highlander in the wall Not if you can see that in the mirror back there She's, uh, she's pretty long, she's 37 feet, so I'll get used to it, but the truck's handling it pretty good, and um, that's it, so gonna get it home, get it parked, get it set up, it took me a little extra time to get it picked up, they spent some time detailing it in there, so anyway, catch in a little bit. I know I haven't put out a video here in a couple of weeks. Uh, corona had everybody shut down. I've been working, but um, other than that, you know, can't go out and do anything. But things are starting to open up again now. So we're going to start getting out and about. And uh, so we'll start going out doing some stuff again. Um, so anyway, I'm going to give you guys an update on uh, what's going on with the camper thing. And there she is. This is a 2016 Highlander by Highland Ridge. It's, uh, it's 37 feet long, 
has a gross vehicle weight of 13,300 pounds, I think. It's about 9,600 dry. Um, got two slide outs, one on either side. It's a toy hauler, so we got the door in the back. I'll bring you in in a minute. I got two 30 gallon propane tanks. Uh, it's got a uh, 30 gallon fuel station. Uh, big awning here. They're actually going to replace my awning. It's got a little tear. It's on the corner there. So uh, they're going to get me a new one. I bought it at Lazy Days RV. Um, this thing's got 16 inch tires on it. Uh, eight lug aluminum rims. Polished aluminum. Got power stabilizer jacks. And uh, back door and stuff. So it's a 2016 it was previously owned by a guy who rode a harley um here's the uh i got a ladder so i can access the roof here's my fuel station this is a a second gray tank i gotta figure it out because this thing as far as uh travel trailers go this is unique because this one actually has a washer and dryer hookup so uh in fact, we'll go in the back door here and I'll show you the toy hauler area. So, they're giving me new shades here too. Um, so, if it's going to get dark on me in here. So, this is the, the back. It's got the ramp door with the uh, wires on it with the screen cage that goes around it. It's got the dual couches that roll into a bed plus it's got the upper bunk. There's the washer and dryer hookup right there. As you can see, it's never been hooked up. The dryer hole was never cut out. It doesn't look like there's ever been anything hooked up to those things. Uh, it's got the power fan up there. Oh, we got that door locked. I'm gonna have to go around. I'm not sure what the deal is with these rails. Um, I'm gonna have to figure them out, what kind of weight ratings they have, because this guy obviously put these in here for a reason. Um, so let me just go. Oh, and when this thing is down in the flat position and it's got the rails, there's an awning that goes out over it. It's not a power awning, it's manual, but it has it. It's backup camera prepped, doesn't have a camera, but I've got the hookups in my truck for it, so I am gonna put a camera on there. Uh, hey, like this, your choice, gun owner or victim? Hey, you know who I pick. All right, so we walk in. Main area here. That's the other slide out on that side. It's got the couch that folds out into a bed. There are uh, underneath the storage under there. These two tables come out. Um, center island in the kitchen. Eight cubic foot refrigerator. Three burner stove. Um microwave that this is also another slide out this whole area here uh plenty of power ports and lights and whatnot um center island sink with these things all pull off so we, we're getting this changed to it had a sprayer style one on there and there was something wrong with it so when i went to pick it up they had replaced it with this it's a brand new faucet but it doesn't have the pull down sprayer like we had so they're going to replace that for us um, this is the outside now this slides out and these latch down and this will actually roll sideways and just get out of the way so it's the back area back there uh, TV area in the front here there's an area for the TV in the back too but it came with a well an option for a 39 inch TV I think they took it with them but anyway uh, look at this shower nice big shower um, actually a good sized bathroom. I mean, I'm 6'3", and I can walk around, stand up in there. Uh, porcelain toilet with plenty of leg room. Uh, the front bedroom's got a queen size bed, plenty of storage, power ports underneath, television. Um, that little gizmo up there is a directional thing for the uh, satellite antenna. And then this is actually a fan but it's pre-wired and set for a second air conditioner. So if we wanted to put a secondary AC in here, we could do that. So uh, 
So there it is, man. That's what it is. Uh, I'll bring you guys. I'm still learning this thing. I just got it. I just picked it up literally yesterday and got it home last night. Um, so I'm going to play around with it in here today. Uh, check the stereo. Find out how everything works and uh, stop playing with it. So as I figure it out, so will you. So thank you very much for coming along. Certainly appreciate it. Don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. Like and share this video. We always appreciate that. And remember, be safe out there. I'm Hammer. I'm out.